You are listening to Passport Talks, a podcast on how to become a true cosmopolitan, how to travel the world without visas, create a safe haven for your family, and access top-notch education and healthcare with a second passport or residency. How to get Caribbean citizenship by investing in real estate. Caribbean islands make good Plan B countries. They offer tax optimization, convenient business opportunities, profitable real estate, comfortable life in a tropical climate, and more. A minimum contribution of $100,000 can make investors and their families Caribbean nationals. If an investor chooses to purchase real estate, they can earn profit. Opportunities differ from island to island, but all Caribbean citizenship programs conveniently have common features. What is Caribbean citizenship by investment? Only five Caribbean countries offer citizenship by investment. Antigua and Barbuda, Grenada, Dominica, St. Kitts and Nevis, and St. Lucia. Becoming a Caribbean citizen means obtaining a passport from one of these countries by contributing to the economy. The minimum investment is $100,000. Caribbean citizenship programs are government-sanctioned and secure, with an excellent global reputation. Dominica, St. Kitts & Nevis, and St. Lucia investment programs are ranked the best in the Global Citizenship by Investment Index edition. Benefits of a Caribbean Passport Travel Mobility Caribbean citizens can visit more than 140 countries visa-free, including the Schengen area, the UK, Hong Kong, and Singapore. Citizens of Grenada and Dominica can also enter China without visas. Long-Term U.S. Visas Caribbean citizenships can obtain B-1, B-2 visitor visas in two to three weeks. The visa will be valid for 10 years. Grenada citizens can get E-2 investor visas and open companies in America. International banking access. Caribbean citizens can open accounts in European and Commonwealth banks with more ease. Foreigners are usually asked to submit more documents to open a bank account, and only some Caribbean banks work with non-residents. Tax Optimization Taxation varies from state to state, but the systems are generally favorable. A few examples. St. Kitts and Nevis and Antigua and Barbuda have no income tax. Individuals won't pay property transfer taxes in Grenada, St. Kitts and Nevis, and Antigua and Barbuda. For all Caribbean citizens, there are no inheritance or capital gain taxes. Global Education Opportunities All Caribbean states with citizenship programs are member of the Commonwealth of Nations. Caribbean students can get grants and other benefits for studying in the Commonwealth countries, including the UK. Keeping the first passport. Dual citizenship is permitted in the Caribbean states with investment programs. This means that Caribbean nationals that have citizenship of another country or countries don't have to give it up. Plan B. Citizens can move to the Caribbean anytime, even if the borders are closed. All Caribbean countries that offer citizenship by investment are island states. They are surrounded by the Caribbean Sea and are the definition of a tropical paradise. For example, Antigua and Barbuda is a two-island state with more than 350 beaches, while Dominica is one of the quietest Caribbean countries to live in. It's three-quarters rainforests and nature reserves, and the rest is colorful and cozy towns. Requirements for Caribbean citizenship by investment The investor is considered the main applicant. They must be over 18, have legal income, and good health, but no criminal records. The investor can include their family in the application, a spouse, parents, children under 18, and disabled children of any age. However, Caribbean states have different rules for family members. For example, the investor's parents must be at least 65 in Dominica and 55 in Antigua and Barbuda. The investor's siblings can't be included in Dominica, and the investor's grandparents can't be included in St. Kitts and Nevis. Everyone but the spouse, children younger than 18, or disabled children must be financially dependent on the investor. There are two to five investment options across all Caribbean citizenship programs. Real estate is available in all of them. Properties are government-approved projects. Depending on the country, they can be villas, tourist accommodations, hotels, resorts, and even yacht marinas. Investors buy shares or obtain full ownership. 
The minimum required investments are $175,000 to $220,000, depending on the Caribbean country. Benefits of real estate in the Caribbean Profitability Investors can earn money on the purchased property. Residential and commercial investment properties in the Caribbean can be rented out and operated for profit. Annual yield is usually 3 to 5 percent. Convenience Management companies handle most investment properties. Therefore, investors don't have to search for tenants and look after real estate while earning passive income. Liquidity Investors can resell their property in five to seven years and return the investment. Affordability Investors who want to become Caribbean citizens are exempt from additional expenses. For example, they don't have to buy an alien landholding license. The investment amount doesn't depend on the number of applicants. However, the state fee will be different for single applicants and applicants with families. Some Caribbean states impose restrictions on property types for investors. For example, in Antigua and Barbuda, a property can only participate in a citizenship program twice, and Dominica doesn't allow buying land plots to construct custom houses or marinas. Such nuances, as well as the legality of a property that an investor wants to purchase, can be confirmed with a licensed real estate agent. Other investment options in the Caribbean The state fund contribution is a non-refundable investment option. The minimum contribution is $100,000 in Dominica, Antigua and Barbuda, and St. Lucia, and $150,000 in Grenada and St. Kitts and Nevis. The contribution to the University of the West Indies Fund is a non-refundable option available in Antigua and Barbuda. Only families of six or more can choose this option. The minimum investment is $150,000. The purchase of government bonds is a refundable option available in St. Lucia. The minimum investment is $300. Business investments start at $1 million in St. Lucia and $400,000 in Antigua and Barbuda. How to Obtain Caribbean Citizenship by Investment in Real Estate Four steps lead to Caribbean citizenship by investment. The whole process usually takes three to six months. 1. Contact a licensed program agent. The agent runs the preliminary due diligence checks with the investor and other applicants and helps prepare the documents. This can be done remotely, and you can't apply directly for a Caribbean citizenship program. 2. Passing due diligence. The lawyers of Immigrant Invest submit documents to the Citizenship by Investment Unit of the chosen Caribbean country. The CBI unit studies the documents and runs its own due diligence check. 3. Choosing a property in the Caribbean and fulfilling the investment condition. The investor chooses a government-approved property in the Caribbean, enters into a preliminary agreement, and buys the property when their citizenship application is greenlit. This, too, can be done remotely with the assistance of the Immigrant Invest real estate team. 4. Getting a Caribbean Passport Two to six months after investment conditions are fulfilled, the country issues passports for the investor and other applicants. That's it for today. This has been Passport Talks, a podcast on how to become a true cosmopolitan. The link to the text version is in the description. To learn more about second citizenship and investment programs, visit our website, immigrantinvest.com. Follow Passport Talks and stay tuned for new episodes on all available platforms. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you on the next episode.